people, good morning. Sorry about that glitch. Um, hope you are well. Good morning to everyone from a sunny, chirpy first day of December. And the challenge is continuous, people. We've seen that yesterday, last night I received emails, went to bed close to one o'clock for serving a nation, serving people. And it's been the scenario over the past 34 years of my career. And we need to report on a matter which is very close to my heart. It's a family in Feliesdorp resorting under the T Waters Kloof municipality run by the DA that for all, more than a year gave a family a run around that was seeking answers, seeking their mother's grave for them to erect a tombstone. But the deceased's last will and wish was that her son needs to be buried with her in the same grave. They stayed together. And that's what they wanted. Um, it was their wish. And that needs to be needed to be honored. The family went and arranged a grave that suited their wishes. It was an eight-foot grave, which is specifically made and paid for to accommodate two people. This lady passed away in 2010 and when their brother passed away the lady's son passed away they were seeking the grave they couldn't find the grave and after lengthy discussions with the municipality of Feliersdorp resorting under T Water Sloof run by the DA The family were forced to bury their brother and the son to his late mother in a separate grave with the understanding that they will find the mother's grave. And for more than a year, this family has been lied to, shoved from pillar to post and not being assisted. They became increasingly frustrated, traumatized, and affected by the fact that these, their late mother and brother's last wishes was not accommodated by these discrepancies. And through one of our members, this family came in contact with us And we assessed the situation. We then agreed to go down to Feliersdorp and the T Waters Kloof municipality. We identified the grave or to try and identify the grave. We engaged home affairs, we engaged staff, we engaged a variety of people including cemetery staff and others, people within the community and the family members. And ultimately, a grave was highlighted. And let me explain to people what's the process in this specific matter. Is that we needed to ascertain the grave of the mother. To get the necessary authorization from the municipality health inspectors, the police to become involved, which we've done. We went down to Cape Town at our cost. Then what happened is we booked into Worcester and from there, that was the base that was created. Took down staff equipment, funeral parlors, was arranged, everything was done. Just to find out, after the meeting that we had in Feliersdorp, 
whereby the approvals which was given to us to come and exhume the deceased and then rebury them or the person or the brother with the late mother. We would have facilitated everything. The mandate was provided to the municipality to, to act, act on behalf of the family. And a lot of cost was incurred to finalize this process. But on the day that it was supposed to happen, listen clearly, on the day that the exhumation needed to happen, remember everything was acquired that's needed to do an exhumation, the chemicals, the staff, the vehicles, the parlor, the equipment, everything was done. We realized that the mother's graves was missing, the record was missing. So we couldn't do what was supposed to be done to accommodate this family, which is not only now clients, they become like a family, friends. And unfortunately, we had to turn around empty-handed to Pretoria from where we've driven all the way down to Cape Town to T. Watersloof municipality to Feliersdorp running up and down just to find that the grave records of Feliersdorp is missing. And then we're not talking only about one particular grave. The whole cemetery's records were missing. The media intervened by virtue of JP of the Booster Standard and it was widely published. And every time there was a report in the media, just more lies were told to the public and tried to portray them as innocent. We need to acknowledge the fact that there's no proper management. And each and every member of the community within Feliersdorp that wants to have a tombstone erected will have a problem in future. They won't be able to do that because the records are missing. Just as much as this family's records are missing. During last week, we got a call after two years from Mr. Johan Fuljun stating that they've arranged everything with which we requested for more than a year to be done. A pathologist, because DNA needs to be, um, DNA samples needs to be taken from the deceased or the alleged grave which was identified, but it could not be confirmed as the true grave, people. It could only be determined when the DNA has been taken. The DNA will be taken this week, Friday on the 4th of December. Where after, and that's per the information that we received from Mr. Johan Fuljun, which is in charge of the cemetery and um, the people that's running these um, cemeteries in deep water sloof. We must keep in mind he doesn't know what to do because they gave the family a run around for more than a year, year and a half, before they ended up with us, which taken took another year. Then what happened is the health inspectors needs to be there, environmental officials, police needs to be there. The lab needs to be there. The family needs to be there. Imagine the trauma of this family when they have to stand next to a grave where a portion of their mother's DNA has to be taken out to have it tested to actually identify the whether it's their mother to be able to get their brother exhumed and placed with their mother as per their last wish. Imagine 
just as a result of negligence and poor management, now this family is traumatized. Over and above the cost, late last year, we were contacted via um, our social media pages when we wished everyone a happy Christmas. The sister of the deceased and the daughter of the deceased contacted us and she said, Johan, we can't have a happy Christmas. All that I want is for my mother and brother to be buried in the same grave. Unfortunately, she's not privileged to see that because she passed away before her, their last wishes has been accommodated. We then went this week uh, the day before yesterday or last week, our accredited funeral parlor submitted documents to uh, the T Waters Kloof municipality. They accredited, they're on their database, it's the family's wishes that we facilitate and manage the whole process. But what happened in this instance, there's cost implications. Who's going to carry the costs? Who's going to carry the cost of ensuring that the right person's DNA has been taken? Oversee the process because there's been so many lies affecting this family. There's no independent observers and that's the reason why we wanted to get involved as per the mandate of the family. This is not a ordinary Pauper's burial, or an exhumation, or a state funeral. This is a case of gross neglect by a municipality that did not do their work, which lost the records, affecting a number of people within this family, affecting staff, implement, implicating staff, their own staff, and it's just not happening. Lies has been spread of in the media when the media approached them with informed information from ourselves and the family. We need to ask ourselves, is this the family's choice or is this the choice of a municipality to dictate terms and conditions through a tender system? This is a totally different scenario. The, this case needs to be handled as it, every other private matter. Because now, the officials, through the tender system, is denying the public the right, in terms of the Consumer Protection Act, to one, utilize a funeral parlor of their own, of their own choice, at their own time, and do it ethically and digni with dignity. The municipality went, put out a tender, and we don't say the funeral parlor that got the tender does not know his work, but they definitely do not know how to do exhumation. They've never been involved with that. Neither has this specific official been involved with that. So how do we know whether it's right or whether it's wrong? When we wrote an email to Mr. Brandt, he responded as follows. Please understand, we never asked you to assist T. Watersloof. Yes, they didn't ask us to do that. But... If we did not investigate this matter, this family would have run around for possibly another 10 years for the grave not to be found. The gross neglect that we've seen in this matter is absolutely horrific. And now a Mr. Brandt 
and his colleagues wants to dictate terms and conditions to a family which has already been traumatized because they want to disallow us in terms of holding back, not authorizing the cost to be paid, not allowing the family the choice of their own funeral parlor or a coffin or a wreath or a hearse or a hymn sheet as a result of the mess that they've made. They are trying to disallow us as FIRA to oversee the processes. When we submitted an invoice through our credited members, which is on their database, they said it's taxpayers' monies. Why do you not look at taxpayers' monies when you abuse your power in terms of the management of cemeteries? Show us where is the grave monies allocated into a allocated fund? Or are you utilizing cemetery and crematorium fees to fix potholes? Light for Let's ask ourselves, show us, Mr. Brandt, where is the monies allocated to oversee the maintenance, security of that particular cemetery? If need to, we will request a court interdict for you to exhume each and every grave in Feliusdorp to take DNA of each and every deceased, including the family members of which the records are missing, because they won't be able to put up a gravestone or a tombstone. And if this scenario becomes open and it's done transparently, and the grave is found after the DNA has been taken. We would accept that. But we cannot accept the fact that it's not been overseen by people that's independent, that's taking the public's interest at heart. Because you've shown that you can't do that. And this will most probably end up as the first legal case in South Africa where a municipality is taken to task for the absolute negligence of a cemetery to get the cost paid to the family, which will include our costs, which will include our interaction, which will include all other graves that needs to be identified. We seek a lawyer or a advocate to assist us with this matter because we want to start legal proceedings immediately because this family has been rights has been violated they've been traumatized and the huge cost implications they've already admitted in the media that they were at fault after lengthy discussions and wishy-washy stories. We want to take this municipality and make an example of them, including the officials involved in their personal capacity. Because of the arrogance of this Mr. Brunt trying to dictate terms and conditions to a family which rights was violated. All that we asked is that we attend this matter, that our cost is being covered, and that the family has the right of choice, which has been denied. Telling us that 
It's taxpayers' monies. Show us all the taxpayers' monies that's stolen in South Africa. That's been misused and abused in South Africa. And we need to be firm, people. Your taxes is being abused by officials irrespective of which political party is in charge of a municipality. And this case has proved it. And that's why we seek change in the country, people. We've said that. We're going to drive towards that. And we're going to insist on that. Hope you've got a wonderful day. But we need to address this matters and state it as is. We need change and we plead for change. We need your support in going forward. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day.